Our hearing today is uh, assessing the uh, Merida Initiative, a report from the G Government Accountability Office, or the GAO. Uh, on Sunday, 18 people were murdered in cold blood at a party in northern Mexico. Uh, this came just three days after a car bomb killed several people in Ciudad Juarez. And it came a week after the Ninth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals ordered immigration judges to seriously consider granting asylum to Guatemalan women who fear they will be murdered in a country where more than 3,800 women have been killed since 2000. Nobody can bring back the lives of the many people tragically killed through drug-related and other violence in Mexico and Central America. But if we are to avoid future tragedies of this magnitude, we must redouble our efforts to support a holistic security strategy. Such a strategy must confront drug cartels head-on, while also investing in drug and violence prevention and treatment programs, both in Latin America and here at home. One such effort that I have championed here in Congress is the Merida Initiative. Today, the Government Accountability Office is releasing a report that I commissioned along with Ranking Member Mack on the Merida Initiative and the Central American Peace of Merida, which is now known as the Central American Regional Security Initiative, or CARSI. Let me start with the good news from the report. In December, the GAO issued an interim report on the slow speed of Merida assistance to Mexico and Central America. Since then, the GAO reports that the Obama administration has picked up the pace in getting essential equipment and training to our partners in these countries. I commend President Obama and Secretary Clinton for cutting through our government's red tape to get the Merit Initiative moving. In the coming months, we must continue to expedite our assistance to Mexico and Central America. On a more disappointing note, however, today's report notes that nearly three years and $1.6 billion after the announcement of the Merit Initiative, our counter-narcotics assistance to Mexico and Central America lacks fundamental measurements of success. Specifically, the GAO found the State Department's performance measures, and I quote from the report, do not provide measurable targets and do not measure outcomes, unquote. As the GAO report notes, and I quote again, without targets to strive toward, state cannot determine if it is meeting expectations under the Merit Initiative, unquote. Now, I just want to say this, and I want to say it very emphatically. Our long history of counter-narcotic spending in the Western Hemisphere demands that we had better define our goals. You've all heard me express my concerns in this subcommittee about coordination of the Merit Initiative. The GAO report notes that tracking Merit funds is difficult, as each of the three department, State Department bureaus Managing these funds has a different method. It's really incredible to me that there is still no consolidated database for tracking these funds. If the State Department cannot track its own funding, then how can we in Congress exercise appropriate oversight? We can and must do better than this. I've long called for a coordinator at the State Department for our security programs in the Americas, and this is just another reason why we need it. I've had this discussion with Secretary Clinton, and she was favorable, and I hope we can move forward and get a coordinator for our security programs in the Americas. This would help us in merit of funding. It would help us understand what is happening with the funding, and it's ridiculous to keep calling the State Department and each time getting a different person to find out what's really going on with Merida. With regard to the Central American Regional Security Initiative, or CARSI, I was stunned to learn that the Narcotics Affairs Section at the U.S. Embassy in Mexico City serves as the account manager for funds destined for Central America. I cannot understand why this extra layer of bureaucracy is needed. And finally, unlike Mexico and Central America, there is no formal coordination mechanism in place between U.S. agencies and their host government counterparts working on CARSI implementation. This cannot continue and must be improved. I would like to thank the Government Accountability Office for its excellent report. In addition to Mr. Ford, who is testifying here today, I greatly appreciate the contributions from Juan Goebel, Mark Castellano, Maricela Perez, Erin Saunders-Rath, and Judith Williams. Thank you, and I now call on Mr. McCall for his opening statement. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for holding this hearing.